this is extremely good test problem and many times I've seen this question in the test paper so I have two of them here one of them I'll solve for you and leave the other for you to practice the question is given f of x equals to k times 5 minus x find the value of k if f inverse of 7 is 3 and the second one is given f of x equals to k times 2 minus x square similar question find the value of k if f inverse of minus 2 equals to 5. So this is a question, think about it and find out a strategy to solve this question. Then it is going to be much much simpler. Otherwise if you start finding inverse of the function and then uh, doing a long way it may take or consume a lot of your valuable time and in a test paper that can cost you a lot. Now here is my approach to this problem. So I'll solve this question for you. It seems to be more complicated but both are kind of similar. When we say f inverse of minus 2 equals to 5, what does that mean? It means that on the inverse function we have a point minus 2, 5. That is what it means. So this point will be what on function? On the function this point should be Swap it, 5 and minus 2, correct? So that is our thinking. Now that means we have a point on the function. Now if we have a point on the function, then it's easy to find the value of k. That is what it is. So the point on the function is 5 is x and minus 2 is y value. So let's plug it in. So we get minus 2 equals to k times 2 minus 5 whole square. And that gives you k times 2 minus 5 is minus 3 whole square. That is 3 square is 9. So we get 9k equals to minus 2. And therefore k is equals to minus 2 over 9. So that is how we find our answer. And so we say answer is that k equals to minus 2 over 9. That's it. Do you understand? So this is a concept. A point on inverse function is given to us, you flip it or swap it and then you know the point on the function. Plug that point in and find the value of the constant which is unknown, right? So that is how you have to solve this problem and this is a neat way of doing it. And I hope that helps you one day. Thank you.